I'm Brian Krieber. I'm president of Beacon Engineering. Beacon Engineering designs, manufactures, and distributes optical systems. Lenses that are used on display systems, lenses that are used in medicine, or mirrors and optics that go into space systems that go to other planets. We're not an engineering company that is in the business of uh, thinking and writing a report. We're a hardware company, we build things. It doesn't matter how complex the problem is or how difficult it would seem, we will attempt to solve the problem for the customer. Our machines are computer numerical controlled diamond turning machines. There are less than a thousand of these machines in the world. Uh, we've got eight. I'm usually looking for a client that has a problem that has looked around and tried various solutions. I'm not usually looking for someone who, if they just looked in the Edmund Scientific Catalog, could find the right optic. I'm looking for somebody that has a need that the traditional optic suppliers can't supply. We build optics that went to the space station. We build optics that went on the uh, space shuttles. But our first planetary mission was actually the Phoenix uh, lander. Our partner was uh, MDA. The actual mission was under NASA. We're doing uh, projects now with ComDev where we're in the room at the design stage to push the manufacturing as far as we can. ComDev is a global designer and manufacturer of space hardware. So we build stuff, develop stuff, test it, and then launch it into space. We're developing instruments that look back at Earth uh, looking at the water temperature, we're looking at uh, how things might be changing over time. We then mount one mirror. When we're looking to our suppliers, and optic suppliers are our critical one, it's very important to develop a really good relationship with them, and we've done that with Beacon. Rather than coming to him with all the design done and say, can you make this? We say, Brian, we've got this cool idea. What do you think about optics that are this big or need to have this certain surface roughness? And we talk about how he could make those happen. We're working with ComDev on part of the James Webb uh, Space Telescope. The part that ComDev built was the guiding system. So they want to have perfect optics every time, but they have to be the lightest optics that could be made. They have to, uh, you know, they have to be perfect in every way. Beacon is one of the only places in Canada that does precision diamond machine metal optics. But at the root of it, it's Brian Creeper, the president of the company, that really is what we are using. It's that interaction that uh, we get from him that we use in developing our designs. And there's really a, a focus where we want to look at leveraging Canadian capability with the Canadian Space Agency wanting to develop technology that is indigenous to the country. And that's where we have this new opportunity, an exciting opportunity with Beacon. This exercise we're doing right now uh, has sort of opened the doors for Beacon. So uh, that is in large part the, uh, the relationship that we've developed, mostly because of people. You know, that's what it is, it's, it's, it's people. So this is set to, to start up immediately with that, so you can see that actually the touches. Pufferfish, in very simple terms, makes and sells big balls. To try and explain that a little bit further, what it actually does is non-planar projection solutions. Pufferfish's principal product is the puffer sphere. We are seeing that being used an awful lot in places like trade shows, in museums, in permanent installs, uh, parties or rock concerts. We've 
Been working with Beacon for a long time uh, because Beacon have a spherical lens, a lens that's capable of displaying into a sphere. Pufferfish is based in Edinburgh in Scotland. Both Beacon and Pufferfish are, have an entrepreneurial background, so that vision of doing business internationally is also shared. When you find somebody like that to work with, then it's a very powerful combination. The motivation to do what I do, I think, comes from the relationships with the key clients, uh, with the employees. I like solving problems for our clients. It's more interesting to have put one little telescope on Mars than to make a hundred million cell phone lenses. The products that we make, you don't always know what the result is going to be, but um, learning new things is a very positive thing. If you stop learning, you might as well just you know go sit in the corner. That's what makes your life exciting, and if, you know if you have played all the musical scores that you ever uh, thought possible, then go write one and play it. <laughs>